Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Begood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Today I want to just get right into it. And I've been meaning to make a video about this. This entity for a while now. Named Taylor Shavasinas. And if you don't know who this entity is. I will for my own sake and yours. Give you the shortened version. Because trust me. You don't want to hear too much about what this entity did. Taylor had a boyfriend or a man she was seeing. And they engaged in let's say alternative activities. Where they would choke each other as a way for them to I guess feel good. Not sure how someone choking you can feel good. But they were into that kind of thing. And during this time. She enjoyed choking her boyfriend so much. She kept choking him and overpowered him. And ended his life. This entity then let's just say removed most parts of his body for his parents and the police to find. Some parts it was said she was driving around with them in her car for a few days. This entity was arrested and it was first said that it was her mental health disorder that was causing her issues and seeing things. However, the doctor at trial said they had problems with any of these so-called diagnoses. Because you can't diagnose someone when they are constantly high on strong strong substances no one should be taking. Oh. During this choking episode that ended this young man's life. It was said they were both doing these terrible and strong substances. It was also said that before she met up with her boyfriend for this choking session. She was looking up flaming pentagrams and Jeffrey Dahmer. This and her substance use and abuse threw her mentally insane plea out of the window. And this entity was convicted of ending this young man's life and that her mental illnesses if she had any to begin with didn't play a part in this evil sick sadistic crime that ended this young man's life. During this trial. She attacked her own lawyer. To where she had to be wrestled to the ground by police officers. And when you look into this entity's eyes. You are looking at the coldest deadest eyes you might ever look at. You see people mock when some people talk about their beliefs in God. But from what we can see. Taylor Shavasinas was likely a believer. A believer not in Jesus Christ. But a believer in Satan. Taylor didn't seem to care when her verdict was read. And she didn't seem to care when she was arrested. Heck she didn't even act like she was trying to flee or run. You see. There are some individuals like this. That when young teeter on being a person and an entity. They get into this unlimited power nonsense. And they do tons and tons of substances that allow Satan and his demons to sit with her face to face and tell her all kinds of things. How much you want to bet she saw some literally demonic and crazy mess when she was as high as a UFO. This is why I not only talk about narcissism in a basic sense. But I touch on my faith and the spiritual side of things. You see. We aren't told to not do this or that in the Bible to prevent us from having fun. We are told not to do this or that. Because God doesn't want demons to have access to our lives. Hey. If you don't believe. I can't say much to that. You have the right to believe what you believe. But take a look at evil. Stay away from people that though they are a good time or they seem fun. But they have this dark streak to them. Or if they are just a garden variety narcissist. Because they might put something in your food or drink. With the hopes of getting you sick or ending your life. These people don't care and it's as if someone else is driving because no one is home. Many of us have had a strange experience with the narcissists in our lives. Where they seemed not very smart. They were aloof. And this and that. And then they would turn to us with a grin of the devil and say something hyper intelligent. 
and seemingly having joy for the evil they've done to you over the years. That completely is demonic. And this entity right here. This entity right here just went the extra step and did what the many narcissists out there were unable to do because they know that would be the end of their ability to live their narcissistic life. But if you add some flaming pentagrams and some strong substances, these narcissists invite the devil to sit right in front of them and take control and to guide their life. Could this woman have been born evil? Could be. Could be. But if she wasn't. Whoever she was has been gone for a long 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 time. You can see it in her eyes. You can see it in her eyes. I'm sure people will be wanting to talk to her while in prison to find out more. I'm pretty sure that will happen. But just remember. We are in a spiritual battle. Be careful who you spend your time with. Because you never know what is lurking deep inside of them and what kind of danger that means for you. Well that's all I have for today. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.